We want to simplify the given trig expression to a single trig function. There are several ways we can simplify this. We'll take a look at two possible methods. Where for the first method, we'll simplify the fraction and then subtract one. For the second method, we'll obtain a common denominator and then find the difference. We want to simplify the expression, the quantity two minus sine squared x divided by cosine squared x minus one. Looking at the fraction, because we have this difference divided by cosine squared x, we can rewrite this as each term in the numerator divided by the denominator, which would be two divided by cosine squared x minus sine squared x divided by cosine squared x, and we still have minus one. Now looking at our identities, because one over cosine theta equals secant theta, two over cosine squared x is equal to two secant squared x minus, because sine theta divided by cosine theta equals tangent theta, sine squared x divided by cosine squared x is equal to tangent squared x. Now for the next step, we want to use the identity tangent squared theta plus one equals secant squared theta. Notice we have minus tangent squared x minus one so we'll factor out negative one from these last two terms and write this as two secant squared x minus one times the quantity tangent squared x plus one. Notice how if we distribute, we still have minus tangent squared x minus one. But now we can make the substitution using the identity tangent squared theta plus one equals secant squared theta. And therefore this simplifies to two secant squared x minus one secant squared x. Notice now we have two like terms. This simplifies to one secant squared x or just secant squared x. We've now simplified the expression to a single trig function, but notice how our directions do say enter the answer in this form here, which means to enter secant squared x, we need to enter the square of secant x or secant x squared. Now let's take a look at this again using a different method by obtaining a common denominator. Because we have a denominator of cosine squared x here, we can write one as cosine squared x over cosine squared x. So let's write the expression as the quantity two minus sine squared x divided by cosine squared x minus cosine squared x divided by cosine squared x. And now we'll subtract the fractions. The denominator is going to be cosine squared x. And the numerator is two minus sine squared x minus cosine squared x. Now we want to simplify the numerator by using the identity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. So we'll factor out negative one from these two terms in the numerator and write this as two minus one times the quantity sine squared x plus cosine squared x all over cosine squared x. And now sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to one. So the numerator is now just two minus one times one or two minus one, which equals one. So we have one divided by cosine squared x. And because one over cosine theta equals secant theta, one over cosine squared x equals secant squared x. And once again, we enter secant squared x as the square of secant x. I hope you found this helpful.